guys, and welcome back to All Things Nail. So let's get into this episode of Love and Hip Hop Miami. This show is getting to the point, it's really hard for me to do a review on it because I feel like this show is just so fake at this point. It's so fake, it's past fake. It's so fake that literally you can't do a review on the show. So I'm going to just talk about just... What little bit that I can talk about. So, Shay and Mint Chocolate. Shay bounced the ice cream off Mint Chocolate Head. Pleasure piece in there. He didn't even know what to do or what to say or nothing. I'm going to tell you what. If you was my man, you should have been leaving behind me. You should have been standing there in between us saying nothing. I don't care what producers told you to do, what the script said to do. When this back end here, when this rear end leave, you best be on it. When these heels go, you better have be on them. You better be on my heels out the door. He didn't even know what to say or what to do. But I'm going to tell you the in- real MVP goes to uh, Baby Blue. He came in like he was Shay's man. It was like basically Shay, you better than that. Honey, he worked for his little check. He had her bag done, swooped her up out of there and, and carried her on and gave her her little pep, pep talk. I'm like, I'm rocking for him. Bless your peep. <laughs> Nothing. Whatever. Okay, let me tell you something. Then they tried to put this whole little thing between Liz and and um Shay, like Shay didn't know that Mint Chocolate was Gabby. This was so fake to me because we already know if your man done cheated on you and he messing with somebody, by the time she done seen Liz, she done Googled Mint Chocolate, looked her up, got on, been on social media, talked to everybody she knew, and at this point, y'all already know that she know Mint Chocolate is Gabby. That's why I'm saying this show is fake and scripted. Because y'all, if y'all been cheated on, y'all all a woman scorned. And y'all already know she knew that. The next thing I got an issue with. I got an issue with Malik calling people faggots. How you gonna sit around and call people faggots and you gay too? So, in his, in his eyes, if you masculine like him then you just a masculine person that like dudes then you got guys that are punks i don't know what he considering to be a punk and then you got faggots faggots are the ones that are girlies wanting to be girls i guess uh wanting to wear the makeup and all of that. He called them the faggots, the ones that want to be extra. Those that you know you have those that are more feminine than women's that run around acting like Bobby X, like Trina's cousin Bobby X. And so I'm guessing he he called those faggots. So which exactly are are punks then? Why you just got all of y'all just gay? I, I don't think you should be putting I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know in the gay world they it was it was broken down like that. To me, gay is gay, but I'm not gay, so I didn't know they broke guys down like that into categories. But I think he's wrong for for doing that. I still feel like he is not acknowledging that he's a gay male. I think he's in denial about it. And Je- Jeffrey better go on because you don't need to be messing with nobody that talk like that because. I feel like he not even going to treat you right in a relationship because he, he flip flopping. He different. He don't even know which way the wind blows from one day to the next. So that means he may claim you one day and he may not claim you the next day. You don't want nobody like that. One day he rocking with you. Y'all out in the public and the next day he not carrying you to an event because he embarrassed by you. No, we can't be messing with nobody like that. Um, Amada. Her complaining is irking my nerves. Not that she wrong about what she complained about. Because what she said about Young Hollywood, she was correct. He is a jerk and he is a butthole. And why Veronica running all up in her face trying to be all bad and get smart and ruin a friendship over him. He's still being low down and representing they other little friend and then neither one of them tell him about it. And she said right up in there in the midst of both, both of them when, when, um, they was arguing and act like she didn't know because she said she didn't feel like she needed the dog on tell him. But yeah, he, he ruined, he in the middle of it, ruining all of their friendships over it. But he knew 
And that's what I'm saying. Don't ever let no guy become coming between y'all friendship. Now I do understand what Veronica's saying. You wanted an apology. She helped you get your apology because she talked to him, used her, used her body and her looks and her ways to get what they wanted, which was the apology. But then she want to start messing with him. Okay. But he still ain't nothing. And then, like I said, she needs to say thank you. Um, the first thing that Amada should have said to Veronica before she started barking at compliments, she should have said thank you instead of telling her that she can't date him, she can't talk to him, she ain't the girl doggone mama, she just the girl close friend. You can't be acting like that. And then you encourage her to talk to him. You didn't tell her she couldn't like him if they got to talking, but this is what happens when you uh use your friends like that. But anyway... She is still right. Veronica should have let her know that he was going to be there. That was kind of rude. You know she having problems. You know how hurt she was behind it. Veronica, you could have texted the girl and be like, oh, look, I understand that y'all have issues, and I know we just supposed to get her an apology, but I'm feeling him um, a little bit, and I did just want to give you a heads up and let you know he was going to be there. A real friend would have did that. That's how I know this show fake and scripted, because a real friend would have said something. But anyway, moving on. Kiara and Miami Tip. Where do we even start? Better yet, do we want to start? Not really. This whole situation with gunplay, I feel like this is fake and scripted because there's no way you can tell me that Kiara is dumb and stupid not to know that Miami Tip don't give two Fs about her. She only... If any of this was real, she would only be... Talking to Kiara just because Gunplay said he didn't want to talk to her because he was serious about somebody else. And so she want to ruin it because she don't like the fact that he was serious. If this was real, that would be the only reason she talking to him. I don't think this is real. I think this is a whole bunch of BS and that is fake. And I'm just, this show is going, for me, going to end up being like love and hip hop. New York. I'm going to end up not watching it. I only watch Love and Hip Hop New York if I see some tweets or something or anything that indicates to me that they showing Remy Ma, Safari, or Little Mo is the only part of that show I watch. I don't want to see anybody else in that show. Though I, it is the little situation with Richie Dollar, Richie Dollar, and <laughs> that that little and Anna niece, that little section did get a little good. But anyway, let me stay on on the right show. Um, I don't want to say nothing else about the Kiara situation because it was too fake. This is about as fake as her as Kiara's butt, and and she's so disproportionate and messed up her. It's so bad, too sickening to even watch. Just it's just horrible. I'm gonna say some. Y'all promise me y'all won't get mad at me. When they show JoJo and Veronica in the weight room lifting weights, did y'all notice that Veronica, like they over, she trying to bad mouth Amada. She was sitting over there with them two plaques on the side of her head. Like she had them two buns like this. Like she had two buns on the side of her head like this. Y'all remember? Tell me why she didn't look like. Um, Y'all remember on In Living Color when Jim Carrey played <laughs> Fire Marshal Bill? <laughs> And then he played the other the look the other character is some girl that worked out all the time and Jim Carrey played her on in Living Color and, and I'm gonna have to look it up and drop that picture somewhere around here so y'all can see it or somewhere over here. I'm sorry, because that's who she looked like. She really did. So anyway, moving on. So Trina and Trick Dad are talking about work in walks Alvin. Still whining about Bobby. 
I feel like at this point, the only reason Bobby whining about Alvin, uh, I mean, the only reason Alvin is whining about Bobby is because he won't. The only reason you going on about him is because you got a crush on him like y'all still in freaking 11th grade. Shut up already for Bobby coming there and beat your behind. So they going on and he popping off and I'm with Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy going to tell Trina, cousin Bobby, Trina's like, yeah, Trick Daddy said, my money on Bobby. <laughs> I don't think he like Alvin. But I'm with Trick Daddy. My money on Bobby. You better shut up for Bobby. You already seen how Bobby slapped on the preview how Bobby slapped though, dude. He gonna come in there and slap Alvin the same way. <laughs> But everything was going good. To Trina mention her cousin Joy, Trick Daddy ain't trying to hear nothing concerning Joy. He he, her on Bell Camp exit stage left real quick. He was done with that whole situation. Anyway, so the last interesting show, pretty much where the only thing left to discuss that was worth discussing was this whole showdown with Shay. Liz and Gabby. First of all, Shay, well, Miami, I mean, first of all, Michelle Pooch got them into the event. She told them out of the gate, look, don't be acting a fool. Y'all in public, we not finna be up in here making no scenes. Because y'all came up in here on my name. So y'all can talk. Y'all can confront. Um, y'all can confront um, her boy. Okay. So let's get down to, uh, to some other stuff. So, Gabby, this little girl ain't nothing but an opportunist. She already trying to mess with Prince. She messing with anybody she can mess with to be relevant and then be on this show. She messing with Pleasure P just because of who he is because he went back to Pretty Ricky. And if he wasn't on Pretty Ricky and was going to be in the limelight, she wouldn't be messing with him. Like I said in the line, I'm tired of repeating myself. All this is going to be repetition. That's why I said I don't know why I keep doing reviews. Now she wanted to uh, mess with Prince because he got something going on. That's the only reason she messing with people because of what they got going on. She ain't about nothing. So now she going on about how she going to leave uh, Pleasure P alone because he didn't tell her that uh, he was seeing Shay. And she, it ain't like she to care no way because all she care about is that he with Pretty Ricky and what he can do for her. That's why I'm just like, it's just so fake. But anyway, she 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 be doing the most. Bobby found that doggone expensive, ugly backpack with these speakers in there. Now he all mad and upset at Jeffrey acting the fool, but jumping around. And at this point, everybody know how Bobby act. He gonna act the fool. I feel like that was staged. I because he walked in with these two three little shirts that he done took out the closet and wouldn't stood outside, wouldn't walk back up in the house with, and acting like he was putting in the closet and he went directly to the backpack. Dude didn't even know how to have the backpack under the bed or nothing. That's how I knew all that was fake. Um, Amada didn't show up for steps little event because she already knew Veronica was going to be there and her and Veronica been into it. But this is my thing. Um, J Jojo and Veronica there and they come to find out the young Hollywood, he working with um, Steph. See, this is what I'm saying. This is what uh, Amada told you about him, that he ain't about nothing. This is the type of person he is. But, Veronica, this is what you get. You know, why you thought you was gonna, he was going to be your man and helping you out, this, that, and the other. He ain't about nothing. But I like what JoJo said. I'm not about to uh, sit up here and listen to y'all talk about Amada behind her back. Like, she ain't our friend for real. It made me feel like that she may be... A model friend, I mean, JoJo friend for real. And at some point, she was Veronica them friend for real. Or JoJo wouldn't have felt that way. And I rock with you, JoJo. You, that's what I'm talking about. 
she said they they scheming and being petty and she wasn't even about to have no parts in that. See, that's what real friends do, especially with somebody like um young Hollywood that ain't got none of their best interests at heart. He ain't doing nothing but being dirty and being catty. But anyway, Chinese Nikki and Kitty, they out there modeling some of Prince's jeans and um and they all down uh Michelle Pooch gets Shay and Liz into the event. So they in with Gabby got in with them to model these little piece of jeans. So she feeling herself right now thinking she all this, that, and the other. Well, after the event, this is what I say, y'all. I don't know why Shay pretended like she did she didn't know who. Gabby was already. We already know she know who Gabby was. This is so fake and so extra. So anyway, after the show, they uh Liz want to go confront Prince because y'all know she already done put him out for staying out with Gabby already. He was so mad at her, <laughs> she wouldn't get him key his keys or nothing. He couldn't even go in the reach in the window and get her none because the window only you know only folded out so much. He couldn't even go in the window and get her. That was too hilarious. But anyway, so they going to go in there and talk to her. Well, since Chinese Nikki and Kitty there, Chinese Nikki, she want to come get into it and have Gabby little bat. Gabby going to fling that dog going to drink and shake like some monkey poo. <laughs> and Shay gonna find something and swing it back and get Chinese nigga a little wet. They all dirty. They were there like they about to have a food bite fight. This is too much. Um, but Michelle Pooch, did y'all see what she did? She said, I am not about to be unprofessional with this. She she wasn't even she said, screw what produ production got to say. I'm not even about to be in none of this. This is unprofessional and childish. She said, I'm going to talk to my friend. Y'all behave. Y'all said she made sure she wasn't gonna have no parts of that. She wasn't messing up her career for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> but Gabby was feeling brave because she had Chinese Nikki, so she was going to try to jump bad with her little bitty self. Too much. Too much. That's exactly what it was. But anyway, that's all this review. To see my other reviews of this show, be sure to click on the links. And be sure to subscribe, hit the notification button to see when I upload other recaps, reviews, hauls, beauty reviews, anything under the sun that you like. That's why they call me All Things Now, because everything is here. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.